The women in my family have long memories. I remember my great-grandmother, who could neither vote nor study, but she taught my grandmother to manage a household. My grandmother worked very hard, double and even triple shifts in the family business, only to get home and continue working there. That is how my mother was able to attend university, where she became the first doctor in our family and in my town. As a woman, she had to overcome many barriers, showing twice as much ability to gain the same level of respect and recognition as a man in her field. I, the ninth granddaughter and an only child, became the mayor of the same town where four generations of women have dreamed of being recognized as equals. Almost 100 years separate me from my great-grandmother, and I had the autonomy that she could only imagine. Unlike my grandmother, I was able to choose my profession, and my mother gets excited every time she tells her about the decisions I make. I know very well how lucky I am and that my situation is not everyone's. For this, I've committed to doing my part to create a more just and equal world. Because although we have made great progress, many women continue to face obstacles in terms of their participation and leadership and power and decision making. It will take us another 257 years to close the economic gap between men and women and 95 years to close the same gap in political representation. These are years in which decisions will be made for women by others. Entire generations of women will not have full agency over their lives. That is why we need to accelerate efforts on all parts to foster the participation, empowerment, and greater leadership of women in all areas of power and decision making. The international organizations that make up the Inter-American Task Force on Women's Leadership announced the launch of the Inter-American Award for Good Practices and Women's Leadership. This award seeks to recognize, highlight, and amplify public policies and private and social initiatives that promote women's leadership from a comprehensive, rights-based approach and from an intersectional perspective so that no woman is left behind. There are three award categories. The first, for public policies on the representation of women in decision-making. The second, for private initiatives on women's leadership in business. The third category recognizes initiatives from civil society on the empowerment and leadership of girls and women. In addition, special awards will recognize Women Leaders of the Year in two categories, one for women's leadership and the response to the COVID-19 crisis, and the other to Young Women Leaders of the Year. Who can apply for the Inter-American Award for Good Practices and Women's Leadership? Government initiatives, public administration at the national or sub-national level, as well as private sector companies and civil society organizations belonging to any country in the Americas and the Caribbean. Demonstratable results and the capacity for innovation, impact and sustainability will be essential when it comes to deciding the recipients of this award. With this award, we want to learn more about the initiatives being carried out in our region that promote the women's leadership and highlight those projects that promote our participation and empowerment in order to amplify their reach and promote their replication. With this, we hope to further position the Americas and the Caribbean as the leading region and achievement of SDG 5.5.